in the last class we have stopped at uh, wave front and its types we have discussed about wave models different wave models so now in this uh, session we are explaining about uh, uh, wave front and its types so let us move to that particular slide and I'm, I I would like to start with the question what is a wave front which was asked in uh, 2014 March so a very important concept so let me start with a, a light source you can take any light source bulb or candle like that so I treat this uh, light source as a point source like this assume that this point source is emitting the light waves in all directions just like this so assume that uh, these are the light waves they are traveling or they are spreading from this point source from all directions but i have not taken in the backward direction i have taken only in forward directions then from this point source all these waves they are traveling certain distance in certain interval of time and they are reaching the points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Assume that all these points are, are, are at equal distance from this point source. Then if you join all these points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 by a surface, then this surface will be called as primary wavefront. Primary wavefront because First of all, this is a wavefront. Wavefront because this is a surface of a constant base. All these waves from this point source, they are reaching this surface in equal time. And after reaching this surface, all these waves are in phase. That is the reason this surface of a constant base is called a wavefront. But any reference wavefront will be called as a primary wavefront, not necessarily first one. You can take any prime any wavefront like a sixth or hundredth wavefront. If you start with any one particular wavefront, that wavefront will be called as primary wavefront. And after that, whatever the wavefront that you are going to locate or subsequent wavefront from that reference wavefront, the remaining wavefront will be called as secondary wavefront. Assume that this primary wavefront is traveling with a speed v and uh, in a certain interval of time t seconds they will cover a distance uh, vt distance equal to speed multiplied by time the speed of this uh, light wave is v and uh, how much time they are taking t seconds so they are going to cover a distance vt so by taking distance vt as a radius and these points 1 2 3 4 5 these points on this primary wavefront if you treat it as a independent light source you have to treat 1 2 3 4 5 not necessarily 5 points you can take any number of points any point on this primary wavefront will be treated as an independent light source and by by taking these points on the primary wavefront as a center and by taking the distance traveled in t seconds that is vt as a radius if you draw the sphere around each point like this, this is a wavelet. This first point will be called as wavelet or in plural form you can call it as wavelets. So I have, I have drawn a sphere around the first wavelet. So like that and the radius of this sphere will be equals to V into T. So by uh, in a similar way, if you draw the sphere around each point on this primary wavefront, you will have a sphere like this, isn't it? Then you have to draw the one more surface with, uh, so that uh, it touches all these spheres like uh, this. So I have drawn the surface, I have drawn the surface, it has touched all the five spheres then this surface will be called as secondary wavefront this one is a first one is a primary wavefront not necessarily first one you can take any any particular wavefront then after t seconds the next wavefront will be called as secondary wavefront so i think uh, you have understood what is wavefront so wavefront is nothing but 
it's a surface of constant phase the surface on which all the light waves they are reaching and after reaching that particular surface they will be in phase then uh, any reference wavefront will be called as primary wavefront and subsequent wavefront are called secondary wavefront now let me explain about the so let us start with uh, another uh, concept uh, spherical wavefront we have already discussed about the wavefront so what is wavefront basically wavefront is a, a surface of constant phase if anybody asked what is wavefront the very simple answer is surface of constant phase is called wavefront but since it is a two dimensional uh, figure uh, you can't uh, show uh, in a two dimensional figure uh, three dimensional effect but basically if you take a point source and if you take uh, the spreading of light waves in all directions then the surface that we are going to construct it is not a two dimensional one it's a three dimensional that means it will be having a spherical symmetry it is the surface that you are going to construct around the point source it will be in a spherical shape say for example this is a point source and this point source if i construct uh, one uh, uh, three dimensional surface then you, you will have like the surface like this so point source is at the center and uh, the spherical surface around the point source is like this so this is a surface this is a surface which is having a constant phase which is around the point source and this constant uh, i mean a surface of a constant phase in the form of sphere will be called as spherical wavefront so spherical wavefront is nothing but it's a wavefront for the point source which is in the form of sphere or you can uh, answer like this so what is the spherical wavefront if question is like this the answer is very simple for any point source for any point source a surface of a constant phase is called spherical wavefront so what is wavefront wavefront is a surface of constant phase and what is a spherical wavefront spherical wavefront is a surface of a constant phase for a point source for only point source you will be having a spherical wavefront and this is a cylindrical wavefront in this cylindrical wavefront i have to take a, a line source like this so this is a line source vertical line and that vertical line is now emitting the light in all directions just like a tube light so tube light is a line source so i have taken in the uh, i have taken a point source in the previous concept uh, but in this concept i have taken line source and assume that this line source is emitting the light in all directions like this this arrow mark indicating the spreading of uh, light in all directions i have taken only three positions but uh, assume that uh, this spreading is taking place along the whole length of the line source not just at three points just for the understanding purpose i have taken only three points assume that this spreading is taking place along the whole length of this line source and assume that after certain interval of time and these waves emitting from this line source they are reaching certain points like this these arrow points indicating these are the points reached by the waves light waves emitted from the line source and if you join all these points all these points surrounding that uh, line source then you will have a surface which is in the form of a cylinder like this i have constructed a cylindrical surface around the line source and this surface is having a constant phase because from this line source the waves emitting from this line source reaching this imaginary surface which is in the form of a cylinder after reaching this surface all waves are in phase that is the reason this surface is called as surface of a constant phase it is also called as wavefront but since this surface of a constant 
phase is in the form of cylinder, we can call this wavefront as cylindrical wavefront. Hope you understood the concept. Now let us move to another type of wavefront, a plane wavefront. So for the plane wavefront, I have to start from again point source and uh, I have to take uh, primary wavefront and secondary wavefront. Assume that this is a point source and around the point source a spherical wavefront is formed and that spherical wavefront is now traveling with a speed v. And if you take a part of this spherical wavefront which is very near to this point source, then it will be a, a curve curved surface like this I have taken because this is a curved portion means this is a spherical a part of spherical wavefront which is spreading from this point source but it is slightly away from this point source and these two wavefronts are very near to this point source but I am taking a part of a spherical wavefront far away from this point source so now it, st it is still in the curved portion so I still go further away from this point source. You can observe here. If I take uh, this part, it will be almost a straight line. If you go further away from this point source, then if you take a part of a spherical wavefront, a part of spherical wavefront, it will be like a plane. It will be like a plane surface like this. It will be like a plane surface and this is plane surface having a constant pace because the waves emitting from this point source they are reaching this surface in an equal time and after reaching this surface they will be in pace the waves spreading from this point source they are reaching this plane surface once they reach the plane surface they will be in pace and hence this surface will be called as plane wavefront so answer is very simple. What is a plane wavefront? So plane wavefront is a part of spherical wavefront or part of cylindrical wavefront. Not necessarily uh, it's a part of spherical wavefront. You can take a part of cylindrical wavefront also. So part of spherical wavefront or cylindrical wavefront is called plane wavefront. So now coming to this uh, conclusion part where we have got three types of wavefront first one is a spherical wavefront second one is a cylindrical wavefront and third one is a plane wavefront it's like a revision let us start with the spherical wavefront what is spherical wavefront for a point source surface of a constant phase is called spherical wavefront what is uh, the shape of or what is the uh, shape of this spherical wavefront it is like like this this is a point source and uh, these points are called uh, wavelet because these are the points taken on the primary wavefront these are called wavelets and the subsequent uh, wavefront will be called as a new wavefront or secondary wavefront in the examination this diagram is more than enough then if i take a cylindrical wavefront so cylindrical wavefront if you take a, a wavefront for the line source not like not for a point source if you take a, a, a surface for the point source it will be in the form of sphere but if you take the surface of a constant phase for the line source then it will be called as cylindrical wavefront so this diagram is more than enough you have to show one uh, line source and a surface around the line source which is in the form of cylinder you have to construct the surface around the line source uh, obviously it is in the form of a cylinder and this wavefront will be called as cylindrical wavefront and uh, if you take uh, a part of either spherical or cylindrical wavefront will be called as plane wavefront so this is a plane wavefront even for the plane wavefront we have a primary wavefront and secondary wavefront so any reference wavefront will be called as a primary plane wavefront. And subsequent wavefront will be called as a secondary plane wavefront.